This video will teach you how to set up bleed and crop marks in Adobe Photoshop. The result will look something like this, where we have a trim area, a bleed area, and the crop marks. Let's get started by setting up a new document. Choose the size of the end product, so we won't add in the bleed margins already, we will add that later on. And for the resolution of the document, we're choosing 300 pixels per inch because that is the standard for printing purposes. Now in this new document, we're going to create a new layer. This will be the trim layer. Make sure that the marquee tool is selected and select the entire canvas. Right click and select stroke. The location of the stroke must be on the inside of the selection. The color doesn't matter, we're going to pick a green one to visualize the trim. The width can be one pixel. So this will be the size of the actual product. So now we're going to add the bleed margins. We're doing so by going to image and select canvas size. We're going to select relative, which let us fill in how many margin we want to add. The industry standard bleed margin is three millimeters or an eighth of an inch. We need the margins on both sides of the artboard, so we're doubling that. When you're working with inches, you want to fill in a quarter of an inch, one eighth of an inch on both sides. So now that we have added the bleed margin, we're going to select the marquee tool again and select the entire canvas size. And then we're going to create a new layer which we will name the bleed layer. In this layer, we will visualize the bleed margin. So select stroke again, and again, the location must be on the inside and the color doesn't matter. We're going with a red color to visualize the bleed area. The width of the stroke is set to one pixel. Now select the entire canvas again, and this time fill it with any color. We're using this layer as a temporary mask to create a white area Pass the bleed margins to create a clean output when exporting it later. So fill it with any color or just choose 50% gray and click on OK. Now we're going to create a margin area for the crop marks. So go back to image and select canvas size. This time we're adding around 12 millimeters to the canvas size or in half of an inch. Now we're going to add the white area past the bleed line. To do so, hold Ctrl or Command and click on the temporary mask layer. This will select the mask. Right click on it and then select Select Inverse. Now we, now we have a selection past the bleed line which we're going to fill in white. First create a new layer for the white border. Then right click on the selection. Select Fill and then select White. Now we can delete the temporary masked layer. Now let's go ahead and lock these three layers so they won't be edited by accident. The only thing that is still missing are the crop marks. So let's create a new layer for the crop marks. Now zoom in on the location where the crop mark will be. Grab the marquee tool. Now make a selection from the far corner of the canvas and drag all the way to the center of the trim area. Now go ahead and right click and select stroke. And when we're going to print this file, we want the crop mark to be more visible, so we're choosing three pixel width. For the color, we want it to be black and the location must be in the center of the selection. Now we're going to move this selection by using our just shift and the arrow keys. Move it a bit inside so we can delete a bit of the crop mark so the crop mark won't be visible in the actual print. Best thing to do is to keep the selection just outside of the bleed area so we are sure that the crop mark will not be visible when printing. Now we're going to copy the crop mark layer by holding Command or Ctrl J. Then flip it and place it on the other side of the canvas. Now we can merge these two layers together 
make a copy of it again and then flip and drag the selection to the bottom side of the canvas. And now merge these layers again so we remain with one layer that contained the crop marks. Now one last step for the crop marks and that is to remove the outer lines. To do that we make the canvas a little smaller so that the lines will fall outside of it. So go into image and select canvas size. Now we shrink the canvas with minus one millimeter. Now let's go ahead and proceed on this warning. And now the crop marks are trimmed to fit perfectly in the canvas. So now you can go to the background layer or the layer underneath the trim, the bleed and the crop marks and you can start editing your design knowing that it will be exported with a industry standard bleed area and crop marks. Make sure that when exporting you deselect the visibility of the areas so they won't be on the actual print. Now simply export the image and the bleed area and crop marks will be there, all according to the industry standards. Thank you guys for following along with me. Please consider to subscribe if it helped you.